Hello, my name is Jamie and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, today we're going to take a look at unwrapping and texturing the table model that we've uh, modelled in the last tutorial. Um, so we'll get straight into that. First thing we want to do is apply a texture and material uh, to the object so we can see what we're working with. Um, so I'll just start off with the tabletop and I'll create a, a new material. Uh, by clicking the plus button and I'll call it uh, wood and then I'll go to the texture panel and change the default texture to from none to image or movie and I want the coordinates to be UV and it's just going to be affecting just the color for now Um, and we want to open the wood texture. Um, I'll put a link to where I got that from uh, in the description for you. And then we need to go to the top view. And then tab into edit mode, select everything with A and U to unwrap. And I'm going to go project from view. And then we will go, I'll drag out a window here and go to the UV image editor and change the wood planks clean. Now if we go into object mode and texture, we'll see, sorry, change the shading to texture. You can see that the planks are going uh, across the table and I want them to be going up and down. So. I will rotate this by 90 degrees then I'm just going to scale it up to get as much texture information in there as possible and that looks okay so now I've got a tabletop uh, that's got a wood texture on it I'll get rid of those two menu items so you can see a bit better next up is the legs and because we uh, duplicated linked with alt D we only have to do one of them so tab into edit mode and I'm just going to alt right click on this edge here and then go to side uh, the front view sorry and I'm going to hit the Z to go into wireframe mode and then I'm going to hit B and just middle mouse click to deselect these vertices so now I've got an, an edge selection I'm going to deselect that one as well and it runs from the sort of basically all the way along the back of the leg and I'll select this edge as well or this vertice and then I'll hit Control E mark seam and then select everything with A just hit A a couple of times to get everything and then hit U and unwrap and then I'm going to rotate this by 90 degrees as well. Move that into position. Scale it up. That looks okay. So then we'll go back to texture view. And you can see that all the legs have got textures on them as well. There's a wooden texture going up and down. And then just quickly uh, the planks on the sides. And I'll just select that. Go into edit mode. Select everything with A, U, project from view, scale that up a bit, and then select the next one behind it, or go back into object mode, sorry, select the one behind it, go back into side view, uh, tab into edit mode, A to select everything, you can go Z for wireframe if you need to, and then U, project from view, and scale that up. And then one for front view, select this object, uh, I've got the back one, so I'll start with the front one, tab into edit mode, A, U, project from view, scale it up a bit, and then back to that one, tab into edit mode, A, U, and project from view, and I'll just scale that up a bit. So now when we go to texture mode in the viewport we've got all that working out that's good um, we want to 
make sure all of the um, all of the objects texture is set to or material is set to wood because otherwise it won't render and that would be bad so that's good so then we F12 just to test it and that looks like a wooden table now we're going to add a little bit to the actual wooden texture itself um, we're just going to add in a specular map and a normal map or a bump map which comes under normal mapping these days just to make it a little bit confusing um, so I'll go into GIMP and I'll just drag in my wood texture file and first thing I need to do is desaturate and I like to go I find luminosity gives me a bit more variation in the colour so I'll just hit OK on that because um, the bump map and the spec maps, they only take in a black and white value. Um, you can affect the colour of the specular, but generally you don't want to do that. Um, so then I'm going to go to levels. And I'm just going to bring in this guy here and this guy here. And that gives us sort of a better contrast. Um, and what's going on um, and then we can also adjust the brightness contrast so depending on how you feel um, generally for a spec map you want sort of it to be generally the same sort of shade but maybe some uh, lighter patches just to bring out those areas um, and for the bump map, it's sort of a it depends on how um, defined you want the bumps to be, and sort of bumps and scratches in the wood. Um, if you want there to be just sort of a little bit of uh, stuff going on, then you might bring the contrast down a bit. So it's, there's not too much variation in the color. Um, it's fairly flat looking, but you'll get some stuff coming out from that. Um, and if you want a lot of variation, then you're going to have to bring this up and you might bring the brightness down a little bit. And you can see these black spots are getting really black now. So uh, we can go back to the levels and adjust this. Um, so we're just trying to get uh, this area to not be so black. So that's a bit that's a bit more evenly coloured, so we can go there. And then go back to the brightness contrast and bring up the contrast a bit. So it's still getting quite black in the corner, but we've got some more variation going on there. Um, just for the sake of making things sort of quick and easy, I'm just gonna use the same map for both. Um, but feel free to uh, you know, have different maps and uh, do lots of fun things with it. So I'm just going to add a spec bump on the end of that. And make sure you export because uh, Blender can't open native uh, GIMP files. And I'll just export that. That's all good. So I'll go back into Blender. And then in the textures, I'll create a new texture and it will be an image or movie uh, we want the mapping to be UV and we want it, we're want we not going to be affecting the colour with this one we're going to be affecting the normal which is this one and the specular intensity now we'll open the wood plank spec bump and if we render straight away it's going to be looking a bit horrendous So you can see there's a lot of the um, the normal mapping is going a bit crazy on there because it's quite a high value. Um, but you can see that the specular is also working as well, so that's good. So we'll just bring this normal value down to 0.1 and bring the specular down to 0.1 as well. So 
So we've got something looking a bit nicer. Um, I might just turn this up to 100% so we can see a bit, a bit more detail on the table. So you can see there's some sort of slight bump in the, the specular maps working as well. So uh, for now I'll leave it at that. Um, I might chuck in a couple of a little bit of the lighting setup uh, just to make it look nice. So follow along if you like, you don't have to. Just a simple lighting setup like that brings it out quite nicely. Um, so yeah, we've got a fairly realistic looking table going on there. Um, and we can start to build a scene in the next tutorial in this series. Um, we'll put the the vase and the ta and the uh, flower on the table um, and make sure everything's uh, looking properly to scale and stuff. Um, I'll be hopefully releasing a, another tutorial in the next day and a half or so um, and just to cover over some of the new features in uh, version 2.66 which came out uh, yesterday um, so yeah I'll be covering a, a few features on that um, so look forward to that very soon um, and hopefully you've learned a bit about texturing uh, and a little bit of UV unwrapping uh, in Blender uh, please subscribe to my videos uh, like and share and all that sort of cool stuff um, it does help out to help me grow um, so yeah uh, I'll see you next time